What's up guys? Today I'm going to talk about why you shouldn't choose a stance. Why you should learn to skate switch when you're young, when you're first learning to ollie, when you're first learning to push, rather than waiting till you're as old and as fat as I am to try and skate switch. So when you're first learning to skate, one way usually feels more comfortable than the other, but not that much more comfortable because you don't know how to skate yet. For me, my right foot forward felt more comfortable when I first learned to skate, but I could ride with my left foot forward. It just didn't feel as comfortable, but the difference wasn't that noticeable. So I did a whole video on this channel where I learned all of these switch tricks in one day, but just learning tricks is easier than learning to actually skate and be comfortable skating switch. So a lot of times when I'm really tired or it's really hot, like today it's in the 90s, almost 100 degrees. Car says it's 102. On days like today, when I don't feel like really doing a lot of crazy flip tricks, then I'll just skate switch on my board and just kind of roll around and carve and practice getting comfortable, just like carving, pivoting, you know, doing little kick turns and like power slides switch. Because it takes a lot of time of just riding the board to feel comfortable riding the board. Like this is true if you're just learning to skate, you're normal direction too you have to actually just ride the board around a lot to feel comfortable and to look comfortable riding your board when i'm tic tacking and rolling around switch i don't really look that comfortable this is why you gotta start early with this stuff so when you're first learning to jump on your board don't even pick a stance just switch back and forth don't go through that step where you jump on your board and choose one way to ride switch back and forth so every girlfriend i've ever taught to skate in my life has switched back and forth They've been goofy one day, regular the next day. So I'm like, weren't you goofy footed yesterday? But that was the wrong approach. I should just let people skate both ways and get comfortable skating both ways. The reason you wanna be comfortable skating both ways is because if you hurt one ankle, you can switch and skate the other way. So for me, my back ankle has been rolled so much, it's so messed up that it hurts to stand on a steep deck, but my front ankle feels good popping off of a steep nose. So if I could just skate switch, I could skate steep boards and just skate them with my right foot in the back. But since I'm not super comfortable just riding switch, I can do some trick switch, but I'm not super comfortable just riding. It looks really awkward and feels really awkward. It's not as fun. Like I feel comfortable doing rock to fakies on vert ramps and riding backwards. I feel comfortable riding fakie. I'm just saying, well, I feel more comfortable riding fakie than I do switch. So if my back foot is still on the tail and I can still pop the normal way rolling fakie, yeah, I feel comfortable doing tricks fakie, maybe even more comfortable doing flip tricks fakie than regular. But as far as moving my front foot up onto the nose and moving my back foot up onto the bolts and actually skating switch, actually popping the opposite way, I don't feel comfortable and I don't look comfortable doing that. <laughs> So maybe that's something to do, like on really hot days like today, practice just skating switch, just skate somewhere switch, skate down the street switch, skate at the skate park switch, practice kick turns, practice little ollies, ollie up onto a ledge switch. And if you're just learning to skate, really skate both ways. Trust me, you won't like it then, but in the future, you're gonna be happy you did. Cause I'm terrible switch. If, if you play a game of skate with me, I can do a switch flip, but I probably won't do it first try. So yeah, if you ever play a game of skate with me, um, anything switch, I'm probably gonna get a letter on. Except for like a switch 180 or switch shove, switch big spin, I can do that stuff. I have done a lot of different tricks, switch, you know, varial heels and stuff like that, but it's really rare. I've done some board slide switch, but I'm really bad at that too. So I wish somebody had told me this when I first started skating, because when I first started skating, I could skate either way, basically the same. And if I had just stuck with switching back and forth each day, I would be so much better at skateboarding now. I think it really helps to be able to do like switch nose slides and then you can shove it out much easier because you're used to doing shove it's off that foot. It just opens up so many more tricks. Sometimes the skate park's built just for regular footed people or just for goofy footed people like the ledge is on that side or the rail is on that side. So it really opens up so much when you can skate switch. All right, so skating switch feels awkward. If you switch back and forth between regular and switch, it just makes it feel more awkward. So it's good if you can commit an entire day to skating switch. You can call it switch day. I know a lot of people that do this and it really helps you learn how to skate switch faster. 
when you just skate switch the whole day, your body doesn't have anything to compare it to, so it feels more normal. If you start skating in your regular direction, it's gonna mess it up because you're gonna feel how comfortable that is and it's gonna make the switch feel more uncomfortable. So after you learn to push, you've gotta learn how to ollie. Switch ollies feel really good. It's basically the exact same thing as doing a regular ollie. You're just gonna do it with the opposite feet. So it's just gonna take muscle memory. Your brain already knows how to do an ollie. You just have to apply that to the opposite direction. I'm goofy footed, so I usually skate with my right foot forward. So when I'm skating switch, I'm skating with my left foot forward. So after you learn how to ollie, for me personally, I feel like it's good to learn how to ollie up curves and down curves. So just get comfortable riding around on your board so you can kind of cruise down the street, ollie up a curb and down a curb. So after I learned how to switch ollie up and down curbs, I decided to go through Aaron Cairo's skateboarding made simple steps. So I learned how to ollie, then front side 180, backside 180, pop shove it, front shove, heel flip, then kick flip. So when you're learning to skate switch, you're using muscles that you aren't used to using. So for me, just pushing around, ollieing up and down curbs, I pulled a muscle in my leg and it started hurting and it hurt throughout the rest of the day. So that made it a lot harder. So when I first started trying to do kick flips, it was almost impossible. So I decided to go home and try to do a few on carpet. Actually doing flip tricks on carpet can make it a lot easier when you're first learning how to do the motion of those tricks because your board is gonna stay under you and it's not gonna slip out. I got really comfortable doing kick flips on the carpet. I even landed a few varial kick flips on the carpet. So within the first day of skating switch, I learned how to do a switch kick flip and a switch varial flip. Now I've done the shove -its before because I do a lot of nollie shove -its and it's kind of the same thing, but I've never actually taken time to learn these tricks. Switch. One thing I had a really hard time with when I was riding switch, I would position my body like I'm riding fakie. So my body would drift where I'm looking backwards instead of forwards. I wanna be looking in the direction that I'm going. So it really helps me to focus on something ahead of me. So it, I make sure I'm looking forward. I also tried to take my left shoulder blade and pull it back almost like I'm trying to put it in my back pocket to keep my body facing forward so I don't drift into that fakie stance. I got sweaty, had to change clothes, but I kept skating. Now, I would not suggest learning multiple tricks switch in one day. Like the first day you skate switch, take it slow because you're using so many muscles that you're not used to using. And I know by the end of the day, I was feeling really sore. And the next day, right now, I feel so sore. So take it slow, take baby steps. By the end of the day, I felt really comfortable just rolling around switch, doing switch ollies and switch 180s. So I stuck to that. I kept doing switch ollies, switch 180s, and just rolling around the parking lot. So if you wanna learn how to skate switch, it's gonna take time. You have gotta stick with it. It's really hard to learn all these tricks in one day. I tried and I failed. As you can see, I couldn't do a switch heel flip. I couldn't do a switch backside 180. So I hope this short video was helpful to you guys. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.